Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, you guys, I am super excited because I am going to be trying out some new new products some new new complexion products so i'm super excited about that the new complexion products that i'm talking about are the new liquid foundations and the concealers from rcma i want to give a big thank you to rcma for sending some of these products over to me so i can get a chance to try them out and also have the opportunity to show them to you guys i'm not sure if you guys have heard of rcma before but rcma is mostly known for having makeup artists or pro type of complexion products. You guys have seen me use and heard me talk about the RCMA No Color Powder. I love that powder. The only complexion products that I carry in my professional makeup kit are these two foundation palettes. These are from RCMA. And RCMA stands for Research Council of Makeup Artists. And they've been around for a really, really long time. RCMA is by no means a newcomer to this makeup industry. RCMA has been bringing us professional makeup products since 1952. RCMA falls in the same lane as Graftopian, Mayron, Ben Nye. So you've heard of all of those brands. RCMA is right there with them. And this is what these palettes look like. As you can see, these palettes are very used. I use them as foundation and I also use them as concealer. These complexion products are 80% pigmentation and they are wax based products. So it would not be recommended that you take product out of this pan and go directly onto the face. I use a moisturizer to mix with this pigmented complexion product. And from that, I can can either get full coverage or I can mix it down to just a sheer tinted moisturizer. The preferred moisturizer that I use in my kit with this RCMA palette is the Embroyalist moisturizer. If you have not heard of this brand, this is a really good brand of moisturizer. The only brand of moisturizer that I carry in my makeup kit. So I was super excited when I saw on Instagram that RCMA had released a new liquid foundation and concealer. And my excitement was because these are packaged so that they can be used by the individual makeup enthusiast, not necessarily just a pro artist. Because as you can see, if you were to order or if you were to purchase this palette and you are not a makeup artist it probably wouldn't be a good return on investment for you because you would only be using one or two of the shades that are showing in this palette whereas now you have the opportunity as an individual makeup enthusiast to experience that professional polished full-on glam type of complexion product that comes from RCMA. So you not only have the opportunity to experience the RCMA liquid foundation, you can also experience the concealer as well. Let me give you guys a little bit more detail about these new foundations and concealers from RCMA. So RCMA released this foundation in 36 shades and that's a good number of foundations to release on your first launch and the detailed information regarding this foundation is this is a high intensity liquid foundation that gives a unique lightweight all-day wear rcma states that their foundation enhances your natural radiance you will be glowing at all occasions and all events RCMA's high defining liquid foundation is made with olive oil derived materials giving a full coverage hydration without clogging your pores. It helps to replenish the skin while enhancing your already natural beauty. Proudly we are cruelty free, vegan, talc free, paraben free, and gluten free. Again this foundation is available in 36 shades so that's super awesome for this to be the first launch and they're giving us 36 shades. The 36 shades are broken down into three categories. There is a cool golden G series category and this is for clean fresh skin that has hints of ruddy or slightly blush complexion. Then they also have this in the N series or the neutral series and the N series is for clean fresh skin that is evenly toned without pink or golden undertones. And then you have the warm peach series which is their P series and the P series is for clean fresh and slightly yellowish peachy golden or slightly olive undertones and in regards to the concealers rcma says a small dab goes a long way that is very very true our liquid concealers bold pigmentation will cover under eye 
All types of blemishes and imperfections without drying out your skin or clogging your pores. Made with olive oil derived material, our full coverage concealer hydrates and helps replenish the skin while enhancing your already natural beauty. And this concealer also is cruelty free, vegan, talc free, paraben free, and gluten free. There are 16 shades of this concealer. This is a beautiful, beautiful complexion product. Again, I'm excited because it's going to give everyone the opportunity to experience RCMA as a brand and you don't have to be a makeup artist anymore to get that. And I am finally, finally getting around to using my 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics. This palette came out a little while ago. I purchased it. I just haven't had a chance to use it, but I used it to create this gorgeous eye look today. I love how this turned out. This is an all matte look except for my inner corner. I've got a little shimmer shade that I've put in the inner corner there, but this is what this palette looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous, but I'm going to stop all of my rambling. And if you guys would like to see how I put this look together using the new complexion products from RCMA, that's the foundation and the concealer, and also the 420 palette from Milt Cosmetics, then keep watching. My face has been cleansed and I used my Elements Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. I then followed up with my Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Essence. I did a little moisturizing using my Confidence in a Cream from IT Cosmetics. And I used my Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox to prep my face to get ready for this look. My eyebrows are done. I also used my P. Louise Eyeshadow Base to prep my eyelids. And I am ready to get into this eye look. So I'm gonna start off with my brow bone highlight as I always do. And I am going to be using a highlighter as my brow bone highlight. You guys know how I feel about doing this. I feel that a highlighter, your typical cheek highlighter, works well as a really nice brow bone highlight. So I'm gonna be using this little highlighter from Becca. This is in the shade Opal. And yeah, I'm gonna place this on my brow bone. I'm going to use the 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics and I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Blunt and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Very nice transition shade and I'm just building this up to my desired level of intensity. I'm going back into the 420 palette once again and I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Dank and I'm going to use this on the outer V and sweep it into my crease. I'm going to go back into Blunt once again and I want to just soften up the edges of where I have applied the shade Dank. Dank is the darker shade I have in my crease right now. But I just want to put a little bit more of the Blunt here. Just to blend that in just a little bit, I don't want to lose this shade. Very pretty. I'm going back into the 420 palette again. And this time I think I want to use some of this shade right here. This shade is called Roll It. And it's the deepest shade in this palette. And I want to put a little bit of this on my outer V as well. I've done my little half cut crease type situation like I always do. I'm going back into the 420 palette once again. I am going to use Blunt once again, which is this shade right here. And I am going to soften up the edges of where I have carved out my lid. Blunt is a really pretty color. Very pretty color. And I think for the pop of color on this lid, I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Shotgun. And I'm going to place this starting from the corner of my eye and take it out so that it meets the blunt that's on my eye. And I'll blend those two shades together. This shade shotgun is like a chartreuse lime green, neon lime green type of shade.
I like how this is shaping up. I think I'm going to go back into the palette once again. I want to go back into the shade Blunt once again. I want to blend the Shotgun, which is this chartreuse greenish type of shade that I have here. Just blend that in a little bit more here on the lid. I think the Blunt right up against this shade is really, really pretty. It provides a really pretty gradient. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of this right in here to marry these shades together. Very pretty. Going back into the palette again, and I'm using my smaller blending brush. This is a Sigma blending brush, and I'm going back into the shade Dank. That is this shade right here, and I'm going to add a little bit more of this shade into the area where I've had to manipulate my natural crease line just a little bit. You guys know how I do this. Very pretty. I'm going to add my liner and my lashes, and I'll be right back. My liner and my lashes are done. For this look, I decided to line my eyes with a champagne colored gel eyeliner from Inglot. I believe it's in the shade 94. It is. This is in the shade 94. And I decided to use a brown eyeliner instead of my typical black. So I used my brown eyeliner from Melt. This is in the color Spliff. That's S-P-L-I-F-F. -F. And now I'm going to move on to my concealing. And I've got two of RCMA's concealer. One is in the shade N40 and the other is in the shade N50. So I'm not quite sure which of these concealers are gonna work best. So we're gonna swatch them right here, right now. This is the RCMA concealer in the shade N50. So let's see how this will work as a concealer shade for me. I'm gonna take a little dab. You can see that it is looking, I don't know, but I'm gonna put it right here. I've already got some primer and stuff on my face. I don't really wanna mess that up. So that's the N50, and this is the N40. Let's see what this one looks like. That's what that one looks like. I'm gonna put it right here. Hmm. I'm thinking I like this N50 a little bit more than the N40. So I'm gonna go with the N50, I believe. I'm gonna go with the N50, which is this one right here. And since this concealer does not come with a doe foot type of applicator because it has this really cute packaging, I'm just gonna take a couple of squirts here on my mixing palette. Actually, I'm gonna start with one squirt because this is gonna be pretty full coverage. And yeah, I'm gonna start with one little bitty squirt and I'm going to place this in all the areas that I want to conceal and or highlight. I also forgot to mention that I did do some color correcting today. I used my Tatcha Pearl in my under eye area and my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer around my mouth area. The Kevin Aquan is in the shade SX14. This is full coverage, but RCMA makes beautiful complexion products. Look at how satiny that looks on my skin already. It doesn't dry out the skin. It makes everything look very hydrated. That's beautiful. I'm still working off of that same one little pump that I had on my mixing palette. I have not added any additional product at this point. I still have a little bit of product left on my mixing palette and I've concealed my whole entire face, all the areas that I would like to conceal. So that just lets you know how far this product will go. A little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna use my sponge just to make sure that I don't have any excess products sitting on top of my skin. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cream contour and I'm going to dip into my oldie but goodie Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is an older complexion product. You guys have heard me talk about this before. 
I'm now ready for foundation and I've got three RCMA liquid foundations and let's swatch these really quickly but I want you guys to be able to see this just in case you want to have some reference a color reference in regards to these particular foundations this is the shade G410 I'll take a little bit of that put that right there that's the G410 this is N410 a little bit of that that one right there this is the G410 this is the N410 and this is a P510 which is quite dark so this is the G410 this is the N410 and this is the P510 I think I'm gonna go with the G410. I think that's gonna be the closest to my complexion. This is full coverage liquid foundation. So I believe the pigmentation on these liquid foundations is 50%, um, which is really, really high. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this onto my mixing palette. I'm gonna start off with just one pump, same as I did with the concealer. And I am going to just stipple this around on my palette like so. Just getting it onto my brush, but just moving it around so that it's not going to be all concentrated in one area on my brush because I believe this is going to do my entire face. You can see the product there on the brush. And I'm just going to start stippling this in. Oh, I hope this is not too light. Looking pretty light, but I'm gonna add a little bronzer. I'll add a little blush, and maybe, maybe I can calm this down just a little bit. I'm not sure if the camera is washing this out or if it's showing the true color as I'm seeing in my mirror because in the monitor that I'm looking at. This looks a bit light. However, in the actual mirror, the physical mirror that's in front of me that I'm looking at, it doesn't look too bad. For a liquid foundation, I thought that it would be better for me to go in a little bit lighter with my contour. But again, I have to remember this is RCMA. RCMA is pigmentation, honey. It is covering all your sins. It is covering everything. And I know in some instances that may not be what you want, but there are instances when that is what we want, when we're taking photos or if we're going to be going to an event, we want to make certain that everything is flawless. Everything is, you know, blurred. Everything is finished. It looks really nice. And that's what this type of foundation will do. So I'm going to go over this with my sponge as I normally do. Foundation is done. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye area and my entire face. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit to set my under eye. I'm gonna use this shade right here. This shade is called Peaches and Cream. And then I'm gonna use my RCMA No Color Powder to set my entire face. You guys have seen me use this in many videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set because I wanna do a little bit more bronzing just to bring a little bit more definition into my face. And I'm gonna be using my powder bronzers. Eyes are set. Face is set. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade Tan 3. And I'm gonna use this to bronze up my face just a little bit. Bronzing is done. I'm now going to add a little blush and I'm going to use this blush from NARS. This is in the shade Taj Mahal. This came in one of my BoxyCharm boxes actually, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush, is it not? This is gorgeous. I'm going to use this highlighter from Ofra and I'm going to use this one right here which is called Star Island. Take a little bit onto my nose. Just a little bit on the cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. 
It is now time to smoke out my waterline. So I'm going back into the 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics. I am going to use the shade Blunt and I'm also going to use the shade Dank to smoke out my waterline. And I think I want some form of shimmer in my inner corner. I think I want to use Shatter, which is this shade right here. It does have a bit of shimmer in it. I like that. It is now time for lips. And I have to tell you guys this, I got up to go select my lip color and I walked away from the bright lights and I was able to look at myself in the mirror away from these bright lights. I love the finish of this foundation. It is so gorgeous. I hope the camera is doing this justice, but it is, it's a satin type of finish. And I love that. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, we're going to move on to lips. And I'm going to use my all-time favorite lip liner from MAC. This is the lip liner in the shade Chestnut. And I am going to be using one of the Dose of Colors Velvet Mousse lip products. I picked up the Nima Tang collection a while back. I just haven't had a chance to show it to you guys, but I'm going to get around to it, girl, because you got to see those lip colors. This was not a part of her collection, but still, this is from Dose of Colors, and the formula of the Dose of Colors lip products is really, really nice. So I'm going to line my lips here. And this Velvet Mousse is in the shade Cork, I believe is what this says on the bottle. I'll make sure that I'll list it in the description box below for you guys. Oh, but that's pretty. Mm. And it feels so good on the lips. And this look is done. I cannot say enough good things about the RCMA liquid foundation and concealers. As I mentioned to you guys, RCMA is the only complexion product that I carry in my makeup kit. And the reason for that is because it gives a beautiful complexion. This foundation and concealer gives a satin finish it definitely hydrates the skin. It feels so light and comfortable on the skin. It's wonderful. I love it. I'm also glad that I finally got around to using my 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics. I love this palette. I love the pigmentation. So glad that I have it in my collection and so glad I finally got around to using it. You guys are going to see a lot more of the RCMA foundation and concealer and you're definitely going to see the Melt 420 palette again in future videos. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.